Unit 2 Light Energy Lesson 2 Lenses What's meant by lens? It is a transparent medium that refracts the light and is limited with two spherical surfaces. Uses of lenses Lenses are used in the manufacture of medical eyeglasses, reading or walking, in making magnifier lens used by the person who fixes the watches. Also it is used in binoculars, projector and camera. Types of lenses. There are two types of lenses. The first one is convex lens. The second type is concave lens. What's meant by convex lens or converging lens? It is thick at the center and the less thickness at the tip. It collects the light rays falling on it. Some concepts related to convex lens. Center of curvature of the lens face, C. It is the center of the sphere where this face is a part of it. As you can see, each lens has two faces. So it has two centers. The second concept is the optical center of the lens, P. It is a point inside the lens, lies on the principal axis in the mid distance between its faces. Radius of curvature of the face of the lens, R. It is half the diameter of the sphere, where this face is a part of it. The principal axis. It is the straight line that joins between the two centers of curvature of the lens, passing by the optical center of the lens. Secondary axis It is any line passes by the optical center of the lens except the principal axis. Focus of the lens F It is produced when a beam of parallel rays folds parallel to the principal axis of a lens. What's meant by focus of the convex lens? It is the point of collection of the refracted light rays. And it is a real focus because it collects the refracted light rays. The focal length of the lens. It is the distance between the focus and the optical center of the lens. And hence, focal length is half the radius. Concave lens or diverging lens. It is thin at its center and thicker at the tips. It separates light rays falling on it. Some concept related to concave lens. What's meant by focus of the concave lens? It is the point of collection of the extensions of the refracted light rays because it diverges the light. Their extensions will be collected in a virtual focus. This is the focus of the concave lens which is virtual because it is resulted from the collection of the extension of refracted light rays.
Note the following. Each lens has only one principal axis and uncountable number of secondary axes. The lens has two centers of curvatures and two foci. This is because it has two circular surfaces. Rules to determine the direction of the light rays after passing through the convex lens. Case 1. The incident light ray parallel to the principal axis. It refracts passing through the focus. Case 2. The incident light ray that passes through the focus. It refracts parallel to the principal axis. Case 3. The incident light ray that passes through the optical center of the lens. It passes through the lens without refraction. Steps of drawing a convex lens. Step number 1. Use the compass to draw the convex lens. We will draw a line segment of length equal 11 cm. We will use its starting point as the center for our compass and the radius of the compass is 6 cm. We will draw the first arc by using the ending point of the line segment as another center for the compass and we will draw another arc so we have two intersected arcs by removing any extra parts from the arc by this way we draw the convex lens the second step determine the position of the focus which is at the midpoint between the optical center and the center of curvature on the principal axis from both sides of the lens The third step is draw a ray coming from the highest point of the object and falls parallel to the principal axis. Thus, it refracts and exits from the lens, passing through the focus. The fourth step draw a ray from the same point, passing by the optical center of the lens, and thus it exits from the lens without refraction. The fifth one. Find the intersection between the two penetrated rays to determine the image of the lead point. The final step. Determine the position and the properties of the image formed. In this case, the format image is located between C and F. Image is real, inverted, and small. Formation of the images by the convex lens. Case 1. The object is very far. So, light rays coming from it will be parallel to the principal axis. They will refract passing through focus. So the image is formed at focus and the image is real and very tiny for dot. The second case. Object is at a distance greater than the radius of curvature or after center of curvature. We will draw the first light ray prior to the principal axis. It will refract passing through the focus. The second ray will pass through the optical center and it will pass without refraction. The image is formed between C and F. The image is real, inverted, and small. Case 3. Object is at the center of curvature C, or at a distance equals to the radius of curvature. The first light ray will be parallel to the principal axis. It will refract, passing through the focus. The second light ray will 
pass through the optical center so the image will be formed at the center of curvature and the image is real inverted and equal to the object case 4 object is located between focus and the center of curvature or at a distance more than the focal length but less than radius of curvature the first light ray will be parallel to the principal axis it will refract passing through focus the second light ray will pass through the optical center and it will pass without refraction the image is formed after C or at a distance more than the radius and the image is real, inverted and magnified case number 5 object is at focus the first light ray will be parallel to the principal axis it will refract passing through focus the second light ray will pass through the optical center and the two refracted light rays will be parallel to each other so there will not be any intersection in this case no image is formed the final case the object is located between focus and the optical center or at a distance less than the focal length the first light ray will be parallel to the principal axis it will refract passing through the focus the second light ray will pass through the optical center there will be intersection between the two extensions of the refracted light rays this will be the position of the image image will be formed behind the lens and the image will be virtual erect and magnified formation of the images by concave lens object is in front of the concave lens at any distance whatever the distance between object and the lens the properties of the image will remain constant by putting the object at any distance the first light ray will be prior to the principal axis it will be refracted by the lens and its extension will pass through the focus the second light ray will pass through the optical center and it will pass without refraction the point of intersection is the position of the image image is formed before the object in the same side and the image will be virtual erect and small applications on lenses lenses are used in designing optical devices such as telescope and microscope also lenses are used in making of medical glasses to treat the vision defects the vision the diameter of the eyeball is the distance between the optical center of the lens and the retina to see clearly the image must be formed on retina where the normal person can see clearly the near objects at a distance not less than 25 centimeters far objects at a distance up to 6 meters this is the eye of a normal person as you can see the image will be formed on the retina vision defects short sightedness it is a vision defect through which near object can be seen clearly but far objects seem distorted as you can see the images formed in front of the retina not on the retina short sightedness correction it is done by using a concave lens as you can see first we have to diverge light 
then our cornea will collect it so the image will be formed on the retina so short sightedness is treated by using a concave lens to diverge light long sightedness it is a vision defect through which far objects only can be seen clearly but close objects are not seen clearly this is because the image is formed behind the retina long sightedness correction it is done by using convex lens this is to collect light before it is collected again by the cornea of the eye so in this case the image is formed on the retina so the treatment for long sightedness is by using convex lens let's compare between short sightedness and long sightedness what's meant by short sightedness it is a vision defect through which near objects can be seen clearly but far objects seem distorted long sightedness it is a vision defect through which far objects only can be seen clearly but close objects are not seen clearly near objects can be seen clearly in short sightedness but can't be seen clearly in long sightedness for objects cannot be seen clearly in short sightedness but in long sightedness they can be seen clearly the position of the images in front of the retina in case of short sightedness behind the retina in case of long sightedness causes of short sightedness the diameter of the eyeball is too large so the image will be formed in front of the retina the lens is too convex so it collects the light more than before the reasons for long sightedness are the diameter of the eyeball is too short so the image is formed behind the retina or the lens is thin so it collects light less than before correction of short sightedness is done by using concave lens but in case of long sightedness it is done by using convex lens The final vision defect is cataract. Cataract it is one of the most dangerous diseases that infects the eye. Reasons of cataract disease. Old age, illness, side effects of drugs, genetic readingness or genetic disorder. The result of cataract The difficulty of vision as a result of the darkness of the eye lens. Cataract is treated through surgery by replacing the eye cornea with another convex plastic lens. Land areas measurement. Land surveyors and topographical scientists use a special device to determine heights and distances by sending a beam of laser rays then receiving it again by mirrors and lenses this is the end of lesson 3 thanks for watching